What hey. do you want? Hey, uh, where are you heading? Hey, man, where are you heading? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm walking. Yeah, I know you're walking. Where are you headed to? None of your business. Oh, I was rude. I don't have time for small talk. Leave me alone. Wait up, wait up. I'm not done. I said leave me alone. What part of that don't you get? Sheesh, okay, dude. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I thought we'd check out this Replica Smart NPCs demo inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now the other day Replica released a video showcasing their new AI powered Smart NPCs for Unreal Engine, which they've set up in the Matrix Awakens demo. So essentially what Replica Smart NPCs is, it's an AI chatbot built into all the NPCs in your game. How it works is you can run up to the NPCs and they will generate using the power of AI random dialogue lines. So this is using the Replica API, and what that does is it automatically translates those dialogue lines and voices them over in real time. Now before we get any further, I really quickly want to tell you about my multiplayer survival game course. Learn how to create a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. There's currently over 40 hours of course content. In this course, you will learn how to make things like a drag and drop inventory system, a complete crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down any tree, rock, or bush that you see on the map. We create nine unique weapons and tools, things like a rocket launcher, pickaxe, hatchet, rifle. We create an entire building system where you can build your own bases using foundation walls, ceilings, and you can upgrade your base from wood to then stone and then to metal. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you'll get a big early access discount. The price of this course will be raised later on, but if you enroll now, you'll get access to the entire course and all future lectures that will be added. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. So the main future of the system is the fact that you can actually talk to the NPCs using your computer microphone. So yeah, you can actually speak to the NPCs and have a conversation. And I actually have the demo downloaded, so we're gonna check it out here later on in the video. But I'm interested to see how fast the uh, generation time is on the voice lines, because from what we can see in this video, if that's the actual reaction time, it's pretty fast for uh, generating dialogue and voice lines here on the fly. Now they broke it down in the trailer how it works and how it's tied into their back end. Also the fact that it can be set up with lip syncing. So they use this blend space that they have which can be integrated into any of your characters. Now the most interesting part of this that I think will be really important is the fact that smart NPCs can talk to each other. So basically AIs can have their own conversations amongst themselves. I mean, rather than spending all the time to write all the dialogue lines down for NPCs in your game, then have them voiced over. I mean, how many times have you heard the same voice line from an NPC in a video game? I mean, pretty common, right? It kind of reminds me of when, you know, before Cyberpunk was going to be released, there was this crazy big rumor about how all the NPCs would s never say the same voice line twice. I mean, some crazy hype rumor that someone started, but now with the power of AI, I mean, you can use this in your games to generate dialogue. I feel the idea could be possible, which, you know, every dialogue can be different rather than the same voice line over and over. Now I've got the actual demo downloaded here, so we can go ahead and test this out. Basically, it's the Matrix City Awakens. They took this and linked it to their system. So let's go find a random NPC on the street and basically see what kind of conversation we can uh, start. So hold down C to talk. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? So it's trying to connect up there on the bottom right. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So getting response. I'm not in the mood for this right now. How about you drop the cup of coffee and... Don't finish that sentence unless you want trouble! Oh yeah, what am I- what if I'm looking for trouble? Please just go! I'm just trying to get to work! I don't think so. Open your wallet right now. So yeah, as you can see, it's getting response. It you still takes a bit of time. 
I said, do what I say. And look at this NPC over here. He's stuck on a billboard. I'm warning you. Back off. I'm warning you. This is not how this works. Walk away now or you'll regret it. I don't think so, bud. Open up your wallet right now. You don't walk away now. I won't be responsible for what happened. Now you guys have seen how long it takes to get a response. So for the rest of the video, I'm just going to cut out the waiting for response part just because I think it's going to be, you know, boring watching a 10 minute video and half of it's just, you know, waiting for the AI to generate a response. But basically you're looking at, you know, anywhere from two to three seconds of waiting for a response for it to process what you said, generate the dialogue response, and then voice it over. You're looking at about, you know, three to four seconds. Hey, where's the nearest uh, restaurant? What do you want with me? I just asked you, where's the nearest restaurant around here? Please don't hurt me. I don't know. Bro, I'm not trying to hurt anyone. I'm just asking, where's the nearest restaurant? I'm sorry. I don't know. Can I help you look for it? Sure. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Huh. So that's kind of an interesting uh, interaction. So, uh, what do you do for work? Why are you asking me that? Uh, I don't know. It's okay. I don't mind. I'm a freelance web developer. Oh yeah, where do you work here? Which building? What do you want to know? So yeah, as you can see, I mean, it's still pretty early, but the responses are pretty good compared to just having preset dialogue options. Let's see if we can find, you know, NPCs talking to each other. So yeah, as you pass them, you can see them saying random voice lines. Hey, uh, what do you got in the briefcase? Get out of my way. Some of them are even hostile, like this one. Hey man, what do you got in the briefcase? What are you doing here? This is my domain. You need to leave. What do you want? Hey, that's not how you talk to people. Don't make me repeat myself. Get out of here. Who are you now. and why are you talking to me? Hello? So, right now it looks like you can only do one interaction at a time, which kind of sucks because it'd be nice if I could hold down the button to talk and it would, you know, do sort of a proximity voice, but it looks like you can only interact uh, one at a time currently. Hey, can you direct me to the uh, nearest subway station? Can't stop to talk. I'm already late for work. Oh yeah, where do you work? It's a dead end job. Nothing to be excited about. What do you do for work then? It pays the bills, but it's never going to get me anywhere. What is the job, man? It's a job that takes more of my time than it pays for. You're killing me, man. You're in suspense. What's the job? It's an administrative job. Nothing too exciting. Dang, man. Well. I don't have time to talk. I'm already late for work. Okay, so it kind of got the same line there, but... What do you need? I'm still trying to find some NPCs that will talk and interact amongst themselves, so... Don't talk to me. I'm not interested. Oh, well, too bad. Sorry. What do you mean too bad? Don't talk to me again. You better watch who you're talking to. I don't have to listen to you. Get out of my way. Can't seem to find, you know, AI interacting amongst themselves, so I'll have to keep checking for that. What hey, do you want? Hey, uh, where are you heading? Hey, man, where are you heading? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm walking. Yeah, I know you're walking. Where are you headed to? None of your business. I was rude. I don't have time for small talk. Leave me alone. Wait up, wait up. I'm not done. I said leave me alone. What part of that don't you get? Sheesh, okay, dude. I don't care. I'm not interested. Leave me alone. 
So the interesting part about this is that, you know, depending on parts of the voice line, I think you can link them to certain actions. So like, for example, obviously NPC doesn't want to talk, he can just walk away. Uh, what would be cool to see is if you can program certain interactions like the one I was trying earlier where, you know, show me around the city or show me where the nearest restaurant is. You know, programming more interactions obviously other than this NPC walking away. I'm not in the mood for small talk, so please just leave me alone. Oh, looks like we have a car crash over here. But what would be cool is if they implemented voice lines as well for the uh, people driving around in vehicles. So like if you're jaywalking on the street, they'll say something. Oh, hi there. Hi there. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to work. How's your Gotta day run. Going? My day is all right. I'm just trying to get to work on time. That's great. I'm in the same boat. I don't have time for small talk. Why not? I'm late for work and every second counts. Seems like uh, a lot of the NPCs have the same sort of prompt where, you know, I'm late for work or something like that, but hopefully they can release the actual, you know, source project for this because it'd be interesting to see what the prompts are for some of these lines as well as, you know, obviously how they set it up. Hello. Nice to meet you. How can I help you? I'm just looking around, exploring what this city has to offer. It's quite different from where I'm from. It's great to explore the city and experience what it has to offer. Where are you from, if I may ask? Nice to meet you. What brings you around this way? It's my first time here in New York City. So I'm just taking it. Yeah, so here's a little bit more of the interaction of NPCs with other NPCs. I guess you have to sort of hover near them for them to start talking. What would be nice is if they set it up so that 20 or 30 feet in front of you, in a certain amount of radius, they would already start talking. So they'd have you know small talk as you walk by, rather than rather than waiting to generate the response if you stop your character, just so it feels a little bit more natural than having to wait in an area. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I just wanted to check out the replica smart NPCs inside of Unreal Engine 5. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. I think this is still obviously very early in development, so hopefully they can speed up things like generating responses and improve the overall system. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video development so hopefully they can speed up things like generating responses and improve the overall system but yeah let me know what you guys think and as always i'll see you guys in the next video